Hello folks, welcome. Thanks for being here, my name's Richard Vida. I've just spent the last two days riding around the Scottish countryside on a brand new machine and I want to show you what it is. Come and have a look. This is the brand new Suzuki GSXS 1000 GT. It's my kind of genre, it's my kind of bike. As soon as I saw the press pictures of this bike, I knew I had to have a go on it. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, so we've just done about 350 miles in all weathers. It's Scotland, of course that's gonna happen. Jump in and see what you think about this bike. The video will tell you how I feel about it. You'll have my negatives, you'll have my positives, and um, all the fun that goes in between on these kind of do's. So sit back and enjoy, let's see what happens. Roll that intro. Morning, everybody. We're up at the launch of the new GSXS 1000 GT. That's a great looking bike. I'm very much looking forward to this. We're up in Scotland, Nairn, here in Vaness, and we're up here for uh, two or three days. Today we're going to do uh, about 180 miles through the gorgeous highlands of Scotland, we're heading out towards the Isle of Skye, and then having lunch on uh, the shores of Loch Ness before reaching our hotel for tonight in uh, Fort William. As soon as I saw the pictures of this, I thought, that's a belter. So I'm very much looking forward to riding that. Come in three colours, this blue that we're all on today, and this darker blue, and then the black. I've got to say, I love that blue colour. It's a great colour, colour-coded colour wheels as well. New TFT. Got all phone connectivity as well, which is super. And um, apparently they are connecting a phone to each bike for us with the route in, so we can see on the site nav exactly where we're going. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Dunlop Sport Max Twos, specially designed for this and the GSXS thousand. Look at that wheel, looks amazing. Colour of it. can look quite nice as well. Hey, hey. <laughs> English back done everybody! Hey! It's, it's a pleasure to finally meet you my mate. You too buddy, you too. Looking forward to it today. Yeah, very much so. It's going to be a, a belter. Well folks, we're here. We are here. You're all good. Anything that you want is either with you. Right? Yep. Or, you or it's, it's in there. Yeah. Or you've left it at the hotel. You don't need yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Keep them running so we don't have to reset all the answers. Sorry, we can't hear you above the noise of those pesky bikes. <laughs> Go and get on it then. Let's have a look here. Alright, folks, here we go. The brand new GSXS 1000 GT. Traction controls on. We're on B mode for power. A is the most powerful. A, B, and C. So we're on B. Traction controls on number three. The quick shifter is on. Switchable on and off as well. That TFT is lovely. I really like that. Right, 
that's just ticking over. Not even needing to do anything, look. Let's go. No self cancelers. Oh. Quick shift is smooth. Nice visibility in the mirrors. Nice system, that is. It's not Apple CarPlay, but it's nice. I've not ridden the GSXS uh, this year. I forgot how responsive the engines are. They boast one of the nicest sounding standard cans. You see the uh, USB port hold cover. I think I would probably leave that in place, cut out the size of the USB adapter, leave it closed so it's not flapping and then push your USB thing through it that's giving you an extra layer of waterproof as well this first thing I've noticed, that change very smooth gears no heated grips it's a bit of a shame for a sports tourer definitely comfy yeah the wind is directly here That's actually helping clearing rain off my visor though, with the wind going directly onto the visor. Whose idea was it to leave the thermals off? <laughs> <laughs> Does everybody require the video? Yeah. Yes please. Yeah. Right, you know what's happening now folks, it's time to get the photos done. I'm getting more and more bunged up. Should look good actually on this road surface. Okay, if you want to overtake us, yep. overtake. Yep. Uh, but we'll indicate if we're going to move around, right? Okay. So if you do overtake, come straight back in behind the bike. Yep. Yeah, if we go on that side, you stick to the side. If we go to the other side, you move right over. No problem. <laughs> yeah, love it. <laughs> I don't even turn around. <laughs> That's a nice little pit stop. The Albatross Cafe. Nice little millionaire shortbread. I do keep um, missing the indicator, the left indicator, because the uh, Cruise control resume and set button, thank you very much, is a uh, sticks out quite a bit there a lot. So I can't sometimes not get my thumb down there. Yeah, that's probably down to the gloves I suppose, but right indicates no problem, but left I, I struggle with sometimes. Hopefully the roads will be drying out a bit now. Well it's nice to meet English biker Dan. You are a good lad. What a beautiful area, hey? Jesus, it doesn't half come alive when you get up there. Circa 10,000, it just, it like goes again. 
bloody good engine for sure. Yep, to use a term that my dad used to say when we were kids, it goes like shit off a shovel. Well, we've just had a really nice meal right at the side of Loch Ness. But the boat house, I think it's called. Did you know, folks, there's more water in Loch Ness than all the lakes in England and Wales combined. Do you know that? That's massive if you think about it, massive. 230 meters deep. She's a big one. Yeah, do you know what? 150 miles in, maybe a bit more, I'm not sure. Uh, I've got nothing negative to say about this at all. I love it. Loads of power, super smooth, sounds really nice. She's, she's a screamer. Lovely TFT dash with phone connectivity, loving that. It looks really well. Quick shift is super smooth, but really well mannered. Handles amazing. Yeah, I really like it. So I've got all the grunting sixth. You don't really need to drop down. I just find myself staying in fourth a lot at time for the engine braking. Garrison. Alright folks, that'll do us for today. Join us uh, after this little musical interlude for the next part. Thanks. Welcome back. We're just, oh, hang on, I keep forgetting I've got this on. <laughs> We're just leaving the Garrison Hotel in uh, Fort William and heading to uh, the Dalwini Distillery for a whiskey tour. Yes! Very much looking forward to that, let me tell you. Cracking restaurant last night. Went to a seafood restaurant over there. Had the uh, chowder for starters and the monkfish for main. Oh man, I do love my seafood. Can't wait to spend another day on those great bikes. I'm loving it. I'm loving that bike, you know, genuinely. Obviously we had a less than um, ideal weather yesterday. Wet roads all day long, but uh, that's a, it's a great bike, it really is. Can't have, there's nothing negative at the moment at all. Uh, but again, you know, I will look forward to having one at home for a, a while, as soon as I can, to, uh, you know, make my own mind up when there's no one else around. But all in all, yeah, super. Dead comfy, dead smooth super quick and looks the business I think right okay let's get back on with part two of uh, the GSX-S1000 GT launch see you in a bit Good morning, everybody. Right, we're just getting ready to leave. Technicians are just programming the everybody's phone. As I said at the beginning, they've supplied us all with phones. <laughs> yeah, to, to, so we can see the sat nav through the, through the screen. So they're just programming that on mine now. And then, uh, then we can get gone. Distillery today, yeah. It's a pleasure to meet these fine gentlemen. James from ABR, 
Mr. English Biker Dan, you know him. Rich Taylor there, we've got Big Jeff over there. Blacktop Media there. And uh, then the Suzuki team. Get back on this lovely bike. I was saying this morning, uh, with my little morning vlog, uh, that I've got no negatives. I posted on my Instagram, I've got no negatives. I have got a negative. It's a stupid negative, and it's probably down to my gloves. And I did mention it yesterday, but uh, the indicator, the right indicator, no problem. But the, when you go to indicate left, because the uh, cruise control thing there is quite um, prominent, you sometimes can't get your finger in. I know that's a ridiculous thing to say it's a negative, but really that's it's probably the only thing at the moment. The screen's fantastic. Still made up with this bloody cold. So I apologise for the uh, dulcet tones on this one, folks. But yeah, here's to another good day on the brand new GSXS 1000 GT. I like it a lot, actually. This colour as well. Yeah, it's a very high revving, obviously it's straight four, so it's a really high revving engine. And you've got to really get your head into that because you think you have to change gear a lot. And before you know it, you're in sixth. But it still sounds like you're screaming at like 4,000, 5,000 revs. That's just the nature of the straight four, in line four, but really, you know, when we got to the point that we were playing last night, you know, just leaving it in fourth and really letting it scream. And when it's getting up above 10,000, it's, it's a completely different bike. It's tasty up to that, but like I say, it's like comes alive again after 10 and trust me you don't really need to be up near 10 because it's fast enough as it is we're getting about 150 miles to a tank which is not bad at all 19 litres the screen's lovely i think i probably locked that into night mode though looks a lot nicer in night mode i'm not going to interfere with that today but when i get older one i will do had a lot of comments off you with regards to this bike a lot of people are interested in it and a lot of people saying you know they'd like to see a comparison between this and the Z1000 Kawasaki Z1000SX and uh, although I've never had the pleasure of um, being let through the door at Kawasaki I'd, uh, I would love to make said comparison video because they are pretty much the same bike you know um, they're not the same bike obviously and they don't look the same but it's marketed at, in the exact same spot 1000cc sports touring bike very similar I guess with all the technology so yeah I would like to be able to make that comparison now as I said I'm not uh, in with Kawasaki as yet so if anyone out there has a Z1000SX I could make a subs ride out of it for you but I'd also like to use it as a close comparison to this bike uh, but yeah do get in touch if, uh, if you'd like or interested in something like that thanks I'm going to have a steady ride this morning I think Actually, as we damp again but you know I mean we were riding hard all day yesterday and it was just as damp if not wetter than this all day and uh, you know the bike never twitched once not one time the quick shifter is stunning there's no clunking between gears even between first and second now normally your quick shifter between first and second is not I, I tend not to use it between first and second because it is a big um, but not at all you know nice steady revs from first into second it's super smooth and instant as well you know it's a very very comfortable bike you know and riding it at normal speeds like this it's a it's a real pleasure the uh, pillion seat looks nice and chunky so i'm sure that's nice the riding position is lovely it's nice and light and it is you know you could easily 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 do a big a big ass tour on this in perfect comfort and what I do like about this and this configuration of the engine you know I'm in sixth gear doing 55 look 45 40 40 mile an hour 13 just under 40 mile an hour in sixth if you're out for a tour and you're not playing you don't need to be changing gears every two minutes either you just leave it in sixth and it's perfectly smooth picks up lovely no need to change down and, and you know this fits me really well because you know the VFR really you know it's it's the same bike same genre of bike and you know it's this kind of bike that's built my channel and audience you know 
So this to me is perfect, super comfy. It's nice as well because it's more upright than the VFR. I've got nice wide bars, nice addition with the cruise control. Sad that it hasn't got heated grips and we did feel that a bit yesterday. I know you can obviously put them on, but would have been nice to have it. Still not changed from six, by the way. purposefully trying to leave it in sixth just so uh, I can show you how easy it is to ride and a pleasure really it's not a problem at all just leave it and you've still got a fair bit of engine braking in sixth I'm still in B mode which is sitting in the middle of the power range each mode reaches maximum power but differently but I'd, you know, with, even with the wet weather like now and yesterday, I'd, I've not felt the need to put it into C. B is perfectly nice. <laughs> Wind protection is good. The screen is uh, it's really good actually, you know, I don't get any, I'm not getting any wind buffeting. I didn't actually have my earplugs in all day yesterday, made a mistake of not putting them in. And, uh, but then realised I didn't really need them so much. I've got them in today, just because I remembered to do so. But, you know, the wind, uh, the wind's actually really nice. The, the, with the screen angle is, uh, is bringing um, the wind to about my camera. But that's also really good for clearing your visor when you've got stuff on it, you know. But you can get a touring screen that has a, a steeper angle. I'm not sure how that would perform. But this at the moment, like I said, I've got no issues, no buffeting whatsoever. The wind is hitting the visor, but it's still, you're still perfectly smooth. And it's, it's really, really pleasant actually. The mirrors are, are really nice. You, they're just foldable, so you can leave the angle of the mirror exact how you need it, and they just fold the mirrors in. But the arms, the stalks, and the shape of the back of the mirror, um, again designed to deflect air from your hands. I can't say. I can't say I'm feeling a whole lot of wind on my hands. I'll we'll leave it in sixth. Look down to 30. Pop my visor up a second. Drop a bit smaller. 20 mile an hour. Right, 24 mile an hour in sixth. Perfectly smooth. Like, totally smooth. And then, yeah, I, I love that. Doesn't really make a noise until you, you know, making a scream. And then it does. Totally comfy, not one not one bit uncomfortable yesterday. We did 180 miles, not sure how many we're doing today. But yeah, not one bit uncomfortable. Knees, arms, hands, ass. It's got the one uh, on, on uh, dipped headlights, it's got the just near side light on. Main beam has both lights on. And the horizontally placed LEDs, super bright as well. Do you know, this is totally different today because I'm, I've let the pack go and I'm on my own riding how I'd like to ride as I'm chatting to you. I, I love it. I mean, I loved it yesterday, but because of the damp roads, I'm a bit, you know, holding on for dear life. Yesterday proved how fast and stable the bike is. Today's going to be more of how we're comfortable and livable bike is eleven and a half thousand pounds which in today's terms is uh, not bad at all not bad at all actually a little bit more for the panniers and pannier kit you have to have some brackets that hold the panniers on it's very 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 reasonably priced that is very well priced actually for what it is it's a stunning bike and I'm sure they're gonna do well with it I hope they do it's nice to see you know another sports tourer coming out of the Suzuki range Suzuki camp obviously the market is led massively by adventure bikes now, just as. You know, and I'm guilty myself with the Africa Twin. You know, coming from a sports tourer that I adore, 
the you know the adventure bike really is you know do it all anyway you can go anywhere you want with perfect comfort the, the big tall heavy bikes yes but uh they, they're great nonetheless but it is nice to see a sports tour a new sports tourer it is very nice to be able to just leave it in one gear the point is when you're chomping miles touring no fully loaded up it's nice to make your life as easy as possible it gives you more time to enjoy the scenery and everything you're doing you know when you can range from you know 20 mile an hour up to well into three digits just staying in the same gear it's fantastic and there's nothing jerky about this bike at all it's just so smooth very well behaved very well mannered and like I say I feel perfectly safe perfectly comfortable I do think this is going to be a winner for Suzuki and quite rightly so it's, it deserves it I'm going to try my best to think of negatives well, I'm struggling to be honest it's mega photogenic all the photos I've seen of it looks absolutely stunning really love the color coded wheels the pannier design is really nice I think the 38 litres, so you get loads in there. Sadly, you can't have a top box. Okay, there's a, a negative. Well, I'm sure you can have a top box, but aftermarket. But Suzuki don't do a top box with it. It's going to be a pathetic list of cons. A great list of pros. And a pathetic list of cons. You can't get your, you can't get your fat thumb into the indicators as easily as you'd like when you're doing right hand, uh, left hand turns. There's no top box as standard no top box option the tyres feel great specifically designed for this bike and like I say all that hard riding yesterday and not one twitch not for me anyway and we were riding heavy hard yesterday it makes today's ride a pleasure I'm genuinely excited about this one brakes are great I think the thing that surprised me most is it's very 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 well mannered and what a way to enjoy its launch here up in Scotland not going to mention the weather because that's Scotland that's what you get these little indentations here on the screen are allowing air to curl round and hit my chest and that's really good actually because when you're getting up to speed it's keeping you like enveloped in, in thick air I know it sounds weird but you can feel it I can feel it all around my chest but like round my back as well so you can feel it coming around you and, and like cocooning you in this little bubble and it feels, it feels great. Well, Suzuki, you've got the higher booster, obviously, they know exactly how to do aerodynamics. But speed, it doesn't feel one bit naughty, it doesn't feel wobbly, it feels really precise. Your cruise control's as easy as ever. Right thumb to activate it, and then your left thumb to set and change your speed. That's all I'll do in just a sec. Let's stick it at 65. You've got the resume and set, so you press down, set, button, and then it's up and down to adjust speed. Put it 65, press set, there you go. Oh, not, not a single movement on those bars. Perfect. And really, you know, for touring, you really do need cruise control because you do chomp some real miles that's the whole point of touring being able to get out and and do that look at that in front of us and same as always with a uh, ride by wire just roll the throttle forwards towards the front brake to disengage it you don't need to press the brake to disengage it to reactivate just press up zoom and it will take itself back up to the speed you set finding this more smooth today because I'm riding it gently than yesterday in this B mode B riding mode there's no like initial bite you know when you roll the throttle on sometimes it can give you a little snatch on, it, on most bikes where it's you know uh, disengaged to engaged it's, there's none of that it's just it's just perfect yeah this feels like a different bike today which shows that you can enjoy it for both of its purposes you know touring which we're doing now almost and then sports riding like yesterday yeah it's a real pleasure well, 
I'm very grateful that this last ride in has been dry so we can open her legs. It's been a pleasure to meet Mr. English Biker Dan in front, Mark from Blacktop Media, James from Navy R Magazine. That's it folks, we're done. That's the brand new Suzuki GSX-S 1000 GT and I bloody well love it. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Be good, be careful and be kind. Yes, all.